I was saving it in my pocket for us to share. Let's eat. Oops. Uh... dozens of people. Trey Yates is live in Tel Aviv with the latest. Trey. Harris, good afternoon. A massive explosion has rocked the Lebanese capital of Beirut. According to Lebanese security sources, at least 10 people are dead and dozens injured. We're still gathering information on the cause of this blast. Local media reports, though, indicating this took place near a fireworks container in the Lebanese a report here in the city of Beirut. The early images that we saw before this explosion took place, a large white plume of smoke, and you saw some what looked like fireworks exploding underneath it before a massive explosion took place. And to give you an, ex an example of how widespread the damage is in this situation, the airport is about six miles away from the port in Beirut, and it was moderately damaged. You saw images of neighborhoods this evening completely destroyed by this massive blast. Additionally, we've been seeing some images online of hospitals completely overwhelmed with victims coming in, many people with, with wounds uh, from this explosion, and we'll continue to follow the latest out of this uh, explosion in Beirut. Harris. We have breaking news from Lebanon. There has been a massive explosion, leaving an unknown number of people injured in Beirut in the harbor and first responders scrambling. Obviously, this is one of the hot spots in the world. NBC News chief global correspondent Bill Neely is following the latest from London. Bill, you're seeing a, an incredible explosion. We don't know the cause, but obviously uh, there could be any number of reasons for this, but Beirut has been the center of uh, horrific terrorism in the past. There have been conflicts with Israel and the Hezbollah elements in Lebanon in most recent weeks, in fact. But we don't know. This could be something, uh, something a complete accident. Exactly right, Andrea. The images, the videos are absolutely extraordinary. But as you say, the cause is unknown. From most of the, the videos that I've seen, there is a, first of all, there's some kind of explosion or fire which causes a huge plume of grey smoke. Uh, and you can see just underneath the grey smoke, there are sort of secondary minor flashes. And now we don't know what those are. And then suddenly Suddenly there is something that people have described as like a mushroom cloud and then a sonic wave uh, that was heard and felt miles away just after that. We know this happened just after six o'clock. The very latest is that the Lebanese health minister is reporting a large number, and by that he means dozens at least of injuries. No deaths reported, but from those images, it would be extraordinary uh, if we didn't have fatalities. I think we can also look at live pictures from Beirut now. I remember Remember, this is the port area of Beirut. Night has now fallen uh, and there are still uh, smoldering uh, remnants of uh, w w whatever, whatever caused that explosion. Uh, and once again, you know, millions of people heard and felt this explosion. But as you said right at the beginning, we still don't know what caused it. This is a time of tension in Beirut for a variety of reasons. It's not obviously clear if it was a deliberate act, who on earth would benefit from something like this? And indeed, the last major explosion of this kind was in 2005. And by coincidence, perhaps, perhaps not, this week, 
Uh, on trial at an international tribunal in The Hague are four suspects from the Iranian-backed Lebanese group Hezbollah. And they are accused of, in that explosion in 2005, killing the Lebanese Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri. That's the last time we saw a blast like this. But these videos today, Andrea, just extraordinary. And again, we don't know what caused them. Let's uh, recap our breaking news this evening. There has been a huge explosion in the Lebanese capital, Beirut. The blast happened in the port around two hours ago. It rocked the whole city. It shattered windows over a large area. Many people thought there had been an earthquake, in fact. Hospitals are said to be overwhelmed by casualties. Some reports talking of as many as 500 people being injured. Firefighters are tackling numerous blazes. And eyewitnesses say that balconies collapsed. People were left trapped under the rubble. Government officials are saying a very high number of people have been injured and it's feared there'll be a high death toll as well. A BBC producer in Beirut has been speaking of massive devastation at the port of Beirut with bodies everywhere, shipping containers mashed and overturned. It isn't yet known what caused the explosion which was felt across the city and could be heard for miles around. Well, these are live pictures now of the aftermath of those two separate explosions and the latest uh, casualty reports just coming into us here at BBC News say that uh, there could be several hundred people who have been injured and who've been taken to hospitals in the city. The head of the Lebanese Red Cross uh, is saying that there's no exact figure of how many people were injured, but many are still trapped in their homes within the area of the, the blast. Some people are being rescued by boat. Um, there's one source in Beirut saying that uh, they are treating in one hospital more than 500 injuries and they can't take any more casualties. Um, many of the operations uh, are taking place in that hospital and the hospital is appealing for blood do <coughs> donations. Let's get this report now from our correspondent James Robbins. <laughs> A massive explosion sent shockwaves tearing through the Lebanese capital. The blast happened in the port area. It looks as if the first explosion was followed by another much larger one, which swept through many nearby buildings. Lebanon's health minister said there'd been many injuries and widespread damage. I saw the fire, but I didn't yet know there was going to be an explosion. We went inside. Suddenly, I lost my hearing. Apparently, I was too close. So I lost my hearing for a few seconds. I knew something was wrong. And then suddenly, the, sh the glass just shattered all over the car, the cars around us, the shops, the stores, the buildings, just glass going down from all over the buildings. Firefighters are tackling numerous blazes, while medical teams are searching for casualties in what is now a full-scale emergency. James Robbins, BBC News. And we're just hearing that the Lebanese Prime Minister has declared a day of national mourning in Lebanon on Wednesday um, after those explosions. It seems there were two explosions, but one of them was absolutely enormous, as you saw there in James Robbins' piece. Uh, well, our correspondent in Beirut, Lina Sinjab, has been describing to us the moment that she felt the blast. Well, I was here in my apartment and the whole building was shaking. It felt like it was like an earthquake and I felt like I was, the building is about to collapse. Just a few minutes after, there was like big explosion that all the doors in my flat uh, like went open and we started trying to call each other, check on people. And, you know, the, net, the phone network was down. And immediately after we heard that there was the explosion uh, that hit uh, the area of uh, the Beirut, uh, you know, uh, port. Uh, many buildings around that area had their windows shattered, you know, some like huge damage there. And of course, the government is saying that there are many casualties and the hospitals are filled up with people. So, um, so far,
far we are not able to tell what are the causes. The government is saying that the explosion took place at the port at the, an explosives uh, warehouse. Uh, but it's hard to tell at the, at the moment uh, what are the real causes behind this big, big explosion. It certainly shook the whole city. Many people heard it, you know, from miles away from the city. And it was like really something uh, of a kind that nobody felt before. It's reminded people of what happened in 2005, uh, where uh, there was a big explosion that took the life of uh, former Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri. Leela Sinjap there in Beirut. Uh, well, many people indeed in the city are saying that it did feel as though it was an earthquake. This, this is the aftermath. You can see the uh, night scape in Beirut and uh, flames and smoke and carnage after that enormous explosion. It seems there were, there were two explosions, but one, as we saw earlier, was particularly massive. Now, the US State Department says it's following closely the reports of the explosion. It's uh, standing ready to offer all possible assistance, says the US State Department. The latest casualty figures, well, there aren't any detailed casualty figures, but the head of the Lebanese Red Cross is talking about hundreds of people having been taken to hospitals in the city and many remaining trapped in their homes that have been damaged uh, by the blast. And uh, also we're hearing reports of at least 10 people having been killed.